We are learning more about a recent shooting involving at least one Toledo police officer. Welcome into Action News at 10 on CW13. I'm Tony Geftis. And I'm Gerald Harris. It stems from the November 17th shooting outside of Crocs Bar near Geneva in Arlington. 13 Action News reporter Alexandria Manthe has the story and she joins us live in the studio. The TPD officer involved has been placed on administrative leave while investigators review his use of force. It's standard procedure for officers with TPD that shoot at a suspect. No, I think I'm trying to catch up to it right now. Woodsdale northbound possible. This is a first look at the body camera video Toledo police has uncovered from the recent shooting involving at least one of their officers. It stems from the November 17th shooting outside Crocs Bar near Geneva and Arlington. The new video is less than a minute long, but you can see the officer firing his weapon from behind a vehicle. At least 10 rounds were fired, but there is no audio. The officer is then seen coming out from behind the car before turning to get back into the police cruiser to chase the suspect. Nearby security cameras catch the moment the suspect flees and the officer calls it in. Shots fired at Crocs Bar, white Jeep commander. TPD says the full body camera footage is under review and will be released at a later date. Initially, Toledo Police told 13 Action News that there was no body camera video available. Prior to the shooting, the officer had placed his body cam into the charging station inside of his patrol car. Due to the rapid escalation of events, the officer was unable to retrieve the body cam before engaging the suspect. Michael Thomas is the man facing felonious assault charges in the shooting. TPD says one of its officers saw Thomas firing a rifle into Crocs bar. Then that officer fired back. No one was hurt. The officer who fired his gun was placed on paid administrative leave and the investigation into that shooting continues. Both the Investigative Services Division and the Internal Affairs Bureau are looking into the officer's use of force at the scene. Tony. Alexandra Manthe reporting.